when I was a kid, my father was a preacher, so I wanted to be a Seventh-day Adventist missionary. I, I thought I'd go to India and the Third World and convert people to Jesus, and that was my hero system. Uh, then I stumbled upon running marathons at age 11, and I thought, oh, I'm going to become a marathon runner. I'm going to set the world record. That was my hero system. Uh, then I thought I'm going to become a great political leader. I was reading books about Winston Churchill, George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, and I thought I'm going to become a great political leader. Uh, in eighth grade, I thought I'm going to become a journalist. So from 1980, which was eighth grade, until basically 2007, I mm -hmm. saw my primary mission usually as being a journalist and saw that mm -hmm. profession as the most heroic of all professions. Then I got really sick in 1988, and everything that I was trying to do in life was stripped from me. And so then I turned to Judaism, and that's where I got my meaning in life. It's like, okay, I'm not able to accomplish anything, but I'm achieving these profound insights into the nature of existence, because, you know, all I can do is lie here in my sickbed, and I realize that all that really matters is God and goodness and fulfilling the commandments. And then I had some success as a blogger, and I thought, you know, blogging, this is like the epitome of a hero. You're taking on the establishment. And then it transitioned to vlogging. And I, I do some shows with over 900 live viewers. It's like, wow, this is the, you know, the epitome of the, the hero. 